Hi guys, welcome to Arts and Crafts with Miss Laura. Today we're going to be making a sunflower fork painting. All you're going to need is you're just going to need some paints. We got orange, yellow, green, and brown. You're going to need a plate to hold all of your paints, one fork, and a brush and a cup of water. And of course, you're going to need something to paint on. I'm using cardstock just because it's a little bit thicker, but you guys can use printer paper, cardboard, whatever you guys have lying around. All right, so to start off our sunflower, you're just gonna take your fork. This is gonna be your brush for a lot of it. You're just gonna dip the backside of it into the yellow paint, and you're gonna start creating the petals of it. And you're just gonna kind of work from the outside or the inside outwards. All right, and you're just gonna keep brushing it out. Don't be afraid to use a lot of paint. You're just trying to get a lot of the texture on right now. So after you have your yellow base down, just to create a different variety of color in there and some texture and um, depth, we're going to dip into the orange now. It's okay if you still have yellow in there. It's going to mix on the paper anyways. So you're just going to kind of do smaller ones this time to kind of create the inside of the flower, just working from the inside out again. After you're done with the orange, you're done with the fork now, and you can go ahead and grab your paintbrush. We're gonna create the center of it with the sunflower seeds. You're just gonna dip into the brown, and you're just gonna paint right on top of it. Just kind of add on to it. You don't wanna mix it around, that way the colors just get all muddy that way. But since brown and orange are kind of similar colors, you can just go ahead and add right onto it for it. While it's still wet, you're gonna take your finger. You're gonna be super duper careful, okay? We're not gonna to get too crazy now. And you're gonna create kind of a seed texture and you're just kind of dab into it and take away some of the paint. After you're done with your brown, you're gonna go ahead and wanna grab your cup of water. You're gonna clean your brush, just swirling it on the bottom of the cup to make sure all the paint is off. Lift it up, make sure it's clean, dab off some of the extra water in the cup. Use your paper towels to take off any extra water. And we're gonna create the stem of our sunflower now. So you're gonna go ahead and dip into the green paint. And just from the bottom of the flower, you're just gonna draw straight down, filling in any gaps you might've missed for the stem. And then you're gonna create a leaf for it. My best way to do it is just kind of creates kind of a C shape, a big wonky C or kind of a weird circle, whichever way works for you, it is your flower. And if you wanna add more details at the time, this is now the time to do it. So your sunflower is done. You can go ahead and maybe add grass at the bottom if you want. You can go back with your yellow paints. You can create some sun, some lighter grass, whatever you guys want to do because you guys are all done.